Police in London released photos showing the men who pulled off a shocking dual heist over Easter weekend. That follows this surveillance video that was put out by a British tabloid. We're also learning that the police may have passed up a chance to catch the burglars right in the act. Charlie Daggett is at the New Scotland Yard London's police headquarters. Charlie, good morning. Well, good morning to you. Scotland Yard is under fire this morning, and they're handling what even they're calling a highly audacious robbery after it turns out the thieves struck not just once but twice over the long holiday weekend and even triggered an alarm. The police failed to do anything about it. Caught in the act, on camera anyway, Scotland Yard finally released these images of the suspects at the crime scene and the possible getaway car. That's after getting beat to the punch by the Daily Mirror newspaper, which went public with the security footage first. What? Disguised as construction workers, they used trash bags and garbage cans to haul in heavy tools and haul out precious gems. Who done it remains a mystery, but police have now confirmed this is how they did it. With no signs of a forced entry. Really, dude? Oh, okay, it's garbage truck, sorry. They disabled an elevator on the third floor and lowered themselves. Confirmed. Wait, this is how they did it. What? With no signs of a forced entry, they disabled an elevator on the third floor and lowered themselves down the empty shaft. They then used a massive drill to bore through a six foot thick wall and into the vault. They busted open 72 safe deposit boxes and made off with millions in diamonds, jewelry, and gems. Former commander of the police team on Major Jesus. Heist, John O'Connor, said it was all too easy. They were coming and going as though they were genuine workmen re refurbishing a premises. I mean, they went away for a couple of days, they came back. I mean, it's ridiculous how they were able to have access like that. That's not all it was ridiculous. Police were forced to admit an intruder alarm had been triggered shortly after midnight on Good Friday, but it was decided that no police response was deemed necessary, which probably brought some comfort to the crooks. How did they know that the police wouldn't be arriving? I mean, there's so much, so many questions to be asked here, and it just seems to me that this doesn't have the ring of Ocean's Eleven. It has the ring of corruption and collusion. Okay. In other words, an inside job. Okay, dude. Okay. Hey, he's trying to downplay the heist. Fuck off. Ring of corruption. Dude, he's downplaying it, dude. Collusion. In other words, an inside job. And while police may have a slightly better idea of what the bandits look like, they and their loot remain at large. Now, Scotland Yard said it's too early to tell whether handling that call differently would have had any impact on the burglary, even when their own timeline shows that the bad guys were in the building when the alarm was triggered. Nora? All right, what a story. Charlie Daggett in London, thank you. Jeez, dude.